Right, okay. Here I've removed the um, connector that goes to the um, control section valve or flow control valve or field volume valve. That's how I disconnected it and then I've connected two wires as you can see. Uh, and that is going to, so that's connected to the bulb, that's the bulb wire. And that is connect coming there. There you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and turn the ignition on now. So that's the ignition on. Now I'm going to crank it. Again. Ignition off. Now this, um, as soon as you turn the ignition on, stays for about uh, five to seven seconds and then it switches off. That's what it says on reader because as soon as the ignition on, uh, it would um, allow fuel to go into the uh, high pressure pump for five seconds and then it cuts off I think. So yeah, I'm going to turn the ignition on and you'll see that. And then when I record, uh, I'll show you the screen of the um, scanner and you will see in that as well. going to go off now. There you go. So next I'm going to show you the uh, screen. So yeah, the next one is the um, yeah, pressure control valve 200 in there. So I'm going to change it to graph. There you go. Now it's, it's it's turned off, so I'm gonna turn it on back again. Ignition off, on. There you go. It goes to 620 max, and after uh, five seconds, uh, it cuts off. There you go. It's off. I don't know if you could hear in the camera, but I could hear the relay or something going tick, and then it's off. So um, basically. I can't find anything that adjust, like you know, um, ask, ask me to change the values and see if we can increase the brightness of the bulb. Uh, oh, I couldn't find anything in there, there's no setting in here for me to do that. So if you'd know, please do comment and, and I'll try increasing it. So I'm, next I'm going to show you uh, connecting the uh, suction valve. So that's the um, flow control suction valve connected to that. As soon as an ignition on, uh, you, it, it works and then when I touch it, it would vibrate. And after five seconds it cuts off and you saw that uh, if, uh, if you had um, paid close attention to that bit there, you could see it's moving kind of thing. Okay, what I've done, done now here is I've connected the clear hose to the valve, not all the way in, just to the tip here, because there are two uh, two ways in there. So connected to that, and then that is connected to. Uh, let me show you. There you go. So the air compressor, I've connected to that to blow some air, not massive pressure, it's tiny pressure. Hello. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the ignition on and then I'm going to release air into that and then you can see what happens. So I'm going to zoom in back in there and show you what happens. So let me make it a little bit... Sorry about that. Okay. But 
body. I'm just releasing some pressure. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the key to push into ignition on. There you go, releasing air. It's not going anywhere. It's not coming out there. So that's the uh, computer opening it. So I'm going to do it again. Now, coming. Right, I'm going to turn the ignition on. So that's the um, the the wire is working, isn't it? So guys, yeah. Uh, so these are the checks I've done today. So if you could uh, give me your um, advice, that'd be really helpful. Thank you.